so today we've been recording these guys. We've got Miles Sanko, vocals, hey. Andy Nash, guitars, Owen Chambers, keyboards. Um, and the whole idea of today was just for these guys to get some tracks down, get that live vibe and capture that as cleanly as possible. The mic setup was really easy. Um, we were just using the two onboard mic pre's on the Sapphire Pro 24. Um, the Blue Bluebird works really nicely with Miles' voice. SM57 always works on a, on a guitar cabinet of any sort. Yeah. Will, could I just the organ, please? Can you slow that? Sure. Do you need more gain? There was plenty of mic gain for both the dynamic mic and the condenser. It's so easy, just a breeze to set up. Ain't no need to turn it back. Now we come this far. I know where my joy is at. Exactly where you are. Focus Ride's got a tradition of designing high quality mic pre's, including the ISA range and uh, obviously our, our award winning Sapphire range preamps as well. Provide really clean, um, really clean signal path, which is important when, when, when tracking. The great thing about the Pro 24 is its flexibility. So you've got two really clean Focus Ride pre's on the front panel. They'll also take instrument input so you can plug a guitar or a bass straight in. And you've got the two by inputs on the rear, so you can plug in your keyboard or synths. Um, six line outputs so you can feed to outboard equipment like um, maybe a bus compressor or obviously your monitors. Something I find with KRKs in general, you can pretty much put them in any space you want. They just sound good where you put them. Um, and in a scenario like this, you can put them in the back of the car, turn up in a mobile location like this, set them up in an instant, and just plug them straight into the interface. And of course, you've got the monitor control on the Pro 24, so you can increase and decrease the level when you need to. For me, the best feature is the uh, the ADAT input. It's one of the few boxes in this, this smaller format which allows you to, to have the ADAT inputs um, on it. So you could hook up something like a, a Focusrite Octo Pre. That'll give us another eight channels of um, mic pre going into it. We didn't need it today, but in future, you know, it might be something these guys will need. It. Sure, Ray, it's something good now. We used uh, Pro Tools 9 today. We could have used any any of the major doors uh, compatible with it. Uh, we also used the Focusrite Midnight plugin, just uh, rolled off some of the uh, the low end on the vocals uh, and uh, yeah, tweaked a few bits here and there with the EQ and the light bit of compression, but not too much. I really like the fact that it's cross powered. I can just throw in the back at the car, um, go to a location, plug it up to my laptop, you know, set up my speakers, and off I go, and you know, I can get some live recordings done on a large scale or on a small scale, you know, the functions are there.